Welcome to Daydreamers Barn. I'm Jess. I'm Chris. I'm Shane. And in this video, we are going to explain why we are here in the UK and then talk a little bit about who we are as a family and then what we're, our plans are with the channel when we move back to the United States after Chris retires. So without further ado, Shane, if you would like to tell everybody a little bit about you, that would be great. Hello everyone, my name is Shane. I'm 17 years old and I'm finishing my uh, high school year. And then I go into college to become an EMT. Yay! Which is fantastic. So if you would like to tell what you have enjoyed about being in the UK so far, that would be fantastic. I know they'd like to hear that. So one thing that I love about the UK is all the beautiful castles and the weather's always nice. Right. Even when it's rainy, it's <laughs> still beautiful. Yep. And there's never a day that something doesn't happen. Like there's always going to be like the beautiful clouds or yeah, where we've all the flowers those. are yeah. bloom. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. I do agree. Well, you um, love to take uh, pictures, so you like photography. So that is something that you've been able to enjoy while being here and learning about history and the architecture is really nice yeah. too. So yeah, uh, what is something that you enjoy doing other than photography that I just spilled the beans on? <laughs> So a couple things that I enjoy doing, I love to read and play video games and I just love living in the moment. It's yeah. always a good day. That's, that is so you. Um, so I really appreciate you taking the time and sharing with everybody. Um, so we're going to let you go and do your teenage thing. So thank you. If you'd like to say goodbye to everyone, that would be great. So yeah. Bye everyone. Thank you, Shane. So here's our daughter, Colette, and she is camera shy. So we're going to, she said hello, everyone. And she's, you know, she wanted to share a little bit about her herself. And so this is what she wanted me to share about her. She is 14. She is starting her freshman year. She loves to read and she loves to write. She is writing her own book right now. And then she also loves to bake, which we enjoy. Um, and then, you know, she is she is just a, a bubbly personality. She is a fantastic human, like much like Shane. <laughs> we're, we're proud of them, they're good kids. And, um, you know, she loves, what she loves about the UK is the history. She is a big history buff. So going and exploring as much as we have and learning everything, she's truly like absorbed every bit of it. And the Harry Potter stuff. Too. She oh really yes, we are Harry Potter fans. So she has enjoyed um, going through London and learning about Harry Potter. We have a couple more tours and stuff like that we're gonna take to check out some stuff um, that is just Harry Potter for her and I. So um, yeah, see her on the videos. So hopefully one day she will be comfortable enough in front of the camera. If not, we understand we, we do not wanna force either one of our kids to be a part of, um, you know, make them feel like they're forced to or be a part or yeah. obligated to be a part of the channel. Yeah, so. I'm Chris. I've been in the Air Force for going on 19 years now. Uh, like she said, I'll be retiring here soon yes. from the Air Force um, mm -hmm. and then going out to back to the States to work. I um, don't know exactly what the career yeah. field is going to be when I get there, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, we're, we're along for the ride. <laughs> um, yeah, we've been married for going on 15 years um, this October. Yep. So as you guys know, I'm Jess. I am, I just had a birthday. I am 38 years old and I absolutely love travel. I've been traveling since I was a baby. At three years old, I moved to England for the first time with my dad being active duty military. And so I've been able to see a lot of the world thanks to him. And now thanks to Chris being able to take me 
a lot of places in the United States and now back to England. I am a very artsy person and so I have started um, I have started helping a friend here um, work at her shop and so I'll show a couple of things that I like to do. I started um, helping her redo furniture and um, that's something I absolutely love and I will implement doing that um, again when I get back to the United States and start you know have hopefully have my own shop selling uh, refurbished goods and flowers which would be so much fun so hopefully one day when we get back to our farm lots of plans yeah big plans big plans you know that's what we live on is plans and dreams hopes and dreams yeah, uh, next one is why we're here. We just kind of covered that one. Yeah, so we're here um, for the military said, we need you here. We're extremely thankful to be here, um, especially during this time because COVID's over. Or, well, not over, but it's not during the lockdown like y'all were having. We're really thankful that we're able to travel as much as we are. Next thing is things we truly enjoy from the UK. Uh, so, well... I enjoy the people. Um, I have met some really, really amazing people and people that own small businesses here. I absolutely love to support all of them. And that has been some of my favorite things to do and trying to just immerse myself into the local community and just learn as much as I can. So. You know, and everybody's been so accepting and so loving. It has been fantastic. I, I will, I will truly miss England when when we have to leave. Um, you know, just just the community and friends and people that will probably soon become like family. Yeah, that's what I'll miss, and that's what I I love about England. Yeah. 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 Yep. Oh, I don't look forward to that day. Yeah. I I do, but then I don't. I know it's going to be a hard day when... Mixed when feelings. They, yeah, sure. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and then next item is getting UK items for the UK and the farm. Oh, yes. So we've been having a lot of fun. We've been, um, you know... Facebook Marketplace and, you know, just boot sales. Uh, yeah, the car, car boot, boot sales, sales and then going to antique shops and stuff mm -hmm. like that and picking up things that are UK or England specific that are made here that we can take back to our hobby farm. I'm going to show a couple of pictures and so you can see the things that we have been buying. One, we bought um, a fence or well a gate okay, yeah. a metal gate to go into our property and we're going to pick up another one tomorrow <laughs> which i'm really excited about the time we go into our farm you know our little hobby farm you know i'll be able to smile and know that we picked these up in england and this was a great time that you know, that we can look back on every time I see the gates and or the grandfather clock that we picked up. Yep. And with that, we'll be um, like with the gates, we'll be repurposing those as well. Yeah, I'm going to do like a little short, pretty cool um, because we have, I'll show a couple of pictures of our farm and we'll go into a little bit more detail, but we have like a, 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 a half circle driveway so we have two entrances and then so we'll we needed two so we we didn't find them completely matching um which i didn't really want them to be matching um so we have we'll be able to enter one and then be able to exit the other and then we also picked up a another little gate that I'll be able to fence in my flower garden. Um, I want to do cut flowers. So we'll be able to have that gate every time I enter my little cut flower garden. I'll be able to think of England. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that one actually transitions us to our house in the UP. Yes. So um, I'm going to put a couple of pictures of the farm up here. And I love that place. It is, 
it is wonky. It is. It needs a lot of love, but you and I know how to fix things up. We are not scared of hard work. I used to, in high school, I I done building trades. I don't know if there's anything like that here in the UK, but it's where I, for one hour of school, I learned how I built a home from the ground up, from laying the foundation and plumbing and building the walls and putting the roof on. So I am not shy and I am, I am a jack of all trades, a master of none. And I absolutely love the fact that I can look back on that. Yeah. Yeah. And because um, originally before we got our orders, yeah. we bought the house. We yeah. We bought the house and we were planning on working before we received the, the notification that we were moving to England. Um, we were planning on living in Minot, North Dakota and traveling to the upper peninsula of michigan to our hobby farm and fix it up mm -hmm. every because we went there when we were living there after we bought it we went back four times yep. and every time we went we would do a little something and so that was our plan to finish out his military career and um while we were fixing it up ourselves in the united states but you know what um things took a turn and that's okay <laughs> Um, now we're getting to enjoy the UK and experience this. I think everything happens for a reason. So we are meant to be here in the UK for, for this reason and having all of these experiences, you know, interacting with you guys and sharing our lives. Um, that probably wouldn't have happened if, no, really wouldn't have. if, if we would have stayed in the United States. So I think that, you know, this is just, this is just a different um, you know, different avenue. Yeah. yeah, a different avenue. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and, and with that, um, obviously, whenever I do retire, we're going to have to start working pretty hard pretty quick. So yeah, we'll be, you want to talk about the direction or anything when we get there? Or no? Oh, yeah. So um, with the channel, uh, we're going to continue our all of our adventures here in the UK and take y'all along for the ride and share, you know, our experiences, what we love, you know, our trials and tribulations, you know, for lack of a better way of saying it, what we're learning here in the UK so y'all can laugh with us <laughs> uh, or at us, you know, whichever. Um, when we go back to the United States, we are going to take y'all along in fixing up our home and letting you know all of our trials and tribulations there and you know and hopefully you laugh at us also there as well because we're gonna or have a us. lot or <laughs> yeah or hopefully with us because or I'm gonna be crying and then you can be laughing one of the two <laughs> because we have bathrooms to redo we have we have a hole in our ceiling uh, we have There's a lot of things that need to be addressed. Uh, a lot yeah, it's, it's going to be a, a big project, and we're going to need to get yeah. a lot of it done before the winter hits, because winters in the UP are a lot different than they are over here. Yeah, so <laughs> in the UP, uh, I think they say that we have four good months, and then the rest are winter. <laughs> so We're going to try to make good on those four good months and get the house livable yeah. before the winter hits. Yeah, and so we will take you all along for the ride. Continue. We just absolutely love all the sport that we're getting so far, but we just wanted to give y'all a little bit more of us and who we are as people. We are not perfect. Um, we are perfectly imperfect. And I just, I've, I have appreciated everything and sharing all the videos with you guys. It has been a blast. Um, this has been kind of fills the void of having a full-time job because creating and finding the next thing that we're going to do, planning that all out, editing the videos, that is something that I have learned that I absolutely love to do. So I hope y'all are enjoying all the videos that we're putting out, hoping that you enjoy watching Chris and I and our family explore the UK and share a little bit of our lives with you. So thanks for everything. I really hope you enjoyed this video. 
hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment below. I know that we have another try video that we're gonna compare what we can buy on base at the commissary and what we can buy on the economy. So we're gonna compare the items. Specific yeah. with the ingredients in yeah. there too. And you know, we've we've been trying to watch a lot of the things that yeah, we eat. Um, especially since being here and being a lot more health conscious because it's easier here than it is in the United States. It, you know, I'm not saying it's not easy in the United States. It's just y'all have more strict guidelines on mm -hmm. the horrible chemicals that the United States puts in their items that you do not put in your items here, which is fantastic. So thank you guys for everything. We appreciate you. Be safe. Bye.